And now for the Monero development segment. Hey, how's it going? Digo, what's going on, man? What's going on? Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Doing good? I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, do I sound okay? Yeah, yeah. I just heard a little reverb, but I think that was me, though. Yeah, that's me. Uh, yeah, yeah. All, all good on this end. Uh, so this week, know thy enemy. Okay, you're you're doing get us up to speed on Worldcoin, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, um, the, I. It's like the the Darth Vader. It's like Min, it's like Monero's evil twin, right? Is that? <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah. Part. That's a good. That's a really good analogy. I didn't think about that because it's I've never seen such a. I guess like malicious use of usually you, you see cryptography used in ways to like bring freedom to people, you know, especially in this space, zero knowledge proof, encryption, all that stuff. I've never seen like an evil twin. Yeah, that's a really good example. Yeah, that's a really good analogy, actually. I'm, I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> so we got all the facts like, for World is... coin. Last week we were kind of like touching on it, but no one really knew what it was because yeah, you know, yeah, narrow this... people aren't interested in that. But you yeah, got, you no. got the lowdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, like you could say, we better know thy enemy, right? Um, yeah. And then, then we could inform people. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much is gonna be. Um, I stole this photo from this um, Twitter thread. I think I don't know his name, Eric Wall Waller. I'm gonna pronounce his name. Did about it, and it really made me think about like just I just googled Worldcoin. Like you know, Worldcoin was getting a lot of all deserved um, hatred. I just googled it and like read the white paper. It's like really short, which is concerning given what they're doing. So, but this presentation will be really short. It's a quick view of what Worldcoin like actually is, I guess, on a technical level, if you want to call it that, and why obviously it is Monero's evil twin and why Monero does what Worldcoin tries to do, but much, much better in a more freedom preserving way. That's really yeah, it. I read through the uh, their privacy uh, terms yeah. yesterday really quick, actually. Oh, how I didn't read that. How, how long is that actually? Uh, it's It's not too long. You know, it's not that's too long. concerning given what they're doing. I'm like, I was looking for like, there should be more like you're <laughs> to 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 propose something like this and not have a ton of supporting things is very sketchy. But, but let's get into it. Yeah, take it away. I <laughs> say so pretty much what if, if you've been underneath the rock for the past month, you might what is this world coin thing? Basically, I've seen a bunch of videos on Twitter where people you use it, it sounds evil when you say it, like it literally sounds evil when you say what it is. Basically, this, I guess, startup company is paying people to stare into a globe you see on the right, or I guess a ball, and it scans your iris and does a bunch of stuff with that information. An orb. Yeah. An orb. Yeah. It it sounds bad, and it's about as bad as it actually is. A lot of people are naive about what it is, because I've seen a lot of, I guess, developing countries, what people will call them. They go around, if you want to pay you to do this, people aren't like, oh... Yeah, I'll look into this ball for like some money. So people don't know what, what it is, but we're gonna go into what it is, why it's bad. And you have a gut feeling that it's bad, you're probably right. But we're gonna go with technically why it's bad today. <laughs> um, no surprises here. And basically, you, you take a quick glance at the world coin. I guess let's go back a little bit. World coin, in my understanding, is founded by Sam Altman, who's this like big tech entrepreneur. Same guy behind um, OpenAI, which is one of the biggest AI projects currently going. And, <laughs> and um, he pretty much created this project to help, which is funny. He created this project to help solve the issue of personhood. And the idea of proof of personhood is basically, they talk about in their paper is, how do you know that the person online is a real person and not an AI? Which is funny because that's he created the problem that he's proposing to <laughs> solve this solution. And he also is a big proponent of like um, universal income. And he sees these things as a way, once you have someone's identity confirmed on like a blockchain, you want to call it that, you can pretty much make it much easier to give you universal and basic income, make it easier to do like KYC for like platforms, make sure that that person you're talking to on Twitter had their eyeball scanned, you know? It's, it's as bad as it seems. And the more you read the white paper, it's just like, this is, this is ridiculous. And the basic scheme is on the left here, you have the orb and pretty much you have the user, which they're currently giving some coins to, and it scans their iris. And I'm not like a medical person. So like, I, 
don't take what I'm saying as a grain of salt, but I didn't know this, but apparently people's irises are really unique or like something in your eyeball is unique and it scans it mm -hmm. like a fingerprint and then it does a zero knowledge proof of it and then sends it to like a database somewhere essentially. And then you can turn around and say, if you wanted to KYC for Elon Musk, you might go to a place for Elon, for Twitter or X, Xer? Xer? I don't know what it's called anymore. Is it X? Is it X for X? X. Yes, yeah, X. X, I guess. <laughs> Feels wrong. But let's say Leon, Elon's like, I'm going to remove bots from X. And he, he might put these globes in major points in, the, in all major cities. You would show up and you would verify with the this platform, essentially, proving that you had your eyeball scanned. And once again, it's as, it's as bad as it, as it seems. Like, um, <laughs> there's no, if you get a gut feeling this is bad, it's about as bad as you can think about it being. Um, and this is how what it, you will see everywhere. The orb looks evil. It all feels evil. And what it's doing is scanning your iris or something in your eye. Once again, I didn't major in biology in school. It's scanning something unique in the, in the back of your eyeball and, it, and giving you proof that you're unique. And you would take that proof and prove it to other people. Um, they propose it for several things. Right? They propose that you could use it for like voting. You could get proof of personhood for voting, proof of personhood for like UBI, all that kind of stuff. And it's very funny because they actually touch on some of the issues here, like the major limitations of what's going on here and how this security is like not really secure. They're going to go over why this, even at a high level, is, isn't, going, isn't going to work when it comes to like, like being private and all these good things that we in Monero love. So I'm gonna get this over quick. Please bear with me. I know <laughs> this is so. I want you guys to know know your enemy. Pretty much a, a major, two major issues that I see with this is that Monero solves is hardware. Basically, you're trusting the ore to be secure, and they also say this in their white paper. You want to call it that. And on the left here, you can see we have a Trezor wallet that has been hacked also. And on the right, you might be more familiar with like a credit card scammer. This basic idea is that there is no secure hardware, right? There's no hardware that's above being hacked. And you have to ask yourself what begins to happen if you're using these orbs to verify your identity. What happens if an orb is hacked, right? Because there is no hardware that has been unhacked. There's this, does It does not exist because of centralization. And that's something that they hit at, the, at their white paper. So this is terrible for, obviously, for harder reasons. Because if you put your eyes, iris scan into a hacked orb, like some scammer now has your iris scan and can like um, imitate you, get credit card loans, UBI, whatever they want to say on them. This is this is actually mentioned in their white paper. They don't really have a solution for it. They sort of just say, um, we're working on it. <laughs> and the way that Monero solves this is um, Monero, I guess, acknowledges that there is no unhackable hardware. So what you do is that you decentralize, right? You say, instead of having one orb in New York City, for example, we want everyone to have these little tiny computer or computers, and they can use the mine Monero and do that instead of a, as a proof of personhood, right? So instead of saying we're going to have centralized hardware, Monero takes the approach of let's decentralize it. And how every cryptocurrency should, right? Does the body was talking about how Bitcoin isn't that decentralized, and that sort of is a major issue, but Monero doesn't have an issue. So that's one way that Monero fixes this. It, it, it admits, accepts the fact that there is no bulletproof hardware. And instead, it just spreads that hardware over every everyone, right? So in theory, everyone has their own computer that they're all mining Monero on. They're all doing different cryptographic functions on. That way, if, if one has a bug, it's not a big issue. Because you might, you might be running Raspberry Pi. You might be running a server somewhere. And that's how it should be, right? That's how Monero... Bitcoin is a narrow super evil twin, right? Another issue is centralization because Worldcoin is pretty much owned, I believe. It's a private company invested in by Sam Altman and, and friends. So another issue is centralization of authority because um, who says who controls the orbs is also important. And who says who can get an orb scan, right? If the government comes out against you and say, sorry, Doug, you, I don't know, you use too many environment points and you're hurting the environment. Now you we've Rejected your eye scan, right? Who has the ability to push back against that? I'm like, unless right. you're Elon Musk or Sam Altman or like some political figure, they're going to change the rules of the orb. They're going to change who's a person and who's not a person, right? Because in order, it, it, centralization and KYC go hand in hand, right? 
Because in order to have authority, I have to know who you are. In order to know who you are, you have the KYC. So these 10 things generally tend to go hand in hand. But with, um, like I said, privacy kills authority because if, you, if you're a private individual, it doesn't matter who you are, right? You don't have authority because, right, you're a private individual. We use different things for personhood, like can you pay this amount of money? Do you have this amount of hash power, et cetera, et cetera. And that's pretty much how, I really like the analogy that Worldcoin is Monero's evil twin. And it's it's really bad. Like the white paper, I, I recommend you read the white paper for, I guess, one major reason is that Worldcoin is bad. But as I read the white paper, I kept thinking to myself, like, is this worse than our current, I guess, like fiat government reality, you know? Because I was just thinking about like social security numbers and all of these things. And like, it's just very interesting to see something get such a major pushback universally. So like, I don't know anyone who actually likes Worldcoin, but then a lot of people will go and like give the government their user driver license, give a social security card, all these other things sort of work hand in hand, you know, they sort of go together. So Worldcoin is terrible when it comes to anything privacy preserving. But unfortunately, I think that it will probably be successful because the government loves this type of stuff, right? You know, so I don't know what you think. Doug. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we, we see people waiting in lines to get their yeah. irises scanned. So <laughs> yeah, that was it, appear, it appears to be successful. I know. Uh, and I think it will be we'll we'll show it in the news. I think that's some of the some mm -hmm. of the tweets we have. Uh, but I think it was like in India um, people. It appeared like people were getting paid separately, like people were paying people to go <laughs> get their their scan and then send them the world coin right because you get you get issued world coin i think mm -hmm. when you get your scan right you get issued yes. a unique id and mm -hmm. then you also get world coin i guess sent to your to your wallet that's associated with that id so i think people were like harvesting the world coin by saying getting you know people in some community in india a very you know impoverished area and saying mm -hmm. you know we'll, we'll give you some some cash just go scan your Irish and your 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 eye, and uh, send us send us your world coin. Um, so yeah, yeah. and then the, then there's those that are just doing it on their own because uh, they think it's you know free <laughs> free crypto and it's going to be the next best thing and they want to get in early, and it's like why not? There's there they see it as no co cost being associated yeah. with it. Uh, but we all know that no, that old adage, right? If it's if it's free, then you know you're you're likely the product. Oh, yeah, um, beyond, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately, I do think it's going to have legs to some degree because yeah. it appears like it's, you know, they, they they really game gamified it. They made it cool with the orb thing. Mm -hmm. Like like there's a, we're scared of the orb, right? But I think there's a yeah. lot of people who are drawn to drawn to the orb. It, it like, just looks evil. It yeah. just looks. I don't know. It just looks evil to me. <laughs> it looks it looks evil. It's like comic think, book evil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like you see it there and you're like drawn to it and you want to go touch it and like look into it, right? Uh I mean, let, let's be honest, right? If you saw one of these things down yeah, as you're as you're going for a walk somewhere, you'd walk over and check it out. Now, oh, now yeah, definitely. Would you put your face in there and let it scan you? Uh, probably absolutely <laughs> not. Uh but I think honestly they could have just like left these out, you know, and let people come up to them and just uh exactly you know, automatically without your consent just capture, you know, information. I'm sure they'll 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 do that next. You'll just start to see them all over the place, right? They don't even you don't even need anybody managing it. It's like people just go up. Don't to touch it. the orb, don't even look at it. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, unfortunately I do think it's it's gonna take off. Uh, I had yeah. put a tweet out like we we need we need Monero people all around the world going out to where all these orb uh, centers mm -hmm. are and handing out pamphlets or literature or something warning people about the or, about the maybe orb. Maybe like I'll pay you this amount of Monero to not do this. I don't know. Something yeah, proud. there's that I too. Know. I don't know. I don't know if we can fund that. <laughs> we need to get some VC funding like like Sam Altman has. But yeah, it's just it's just reading this is very interesting because like unfortunately, I, like I said, I think it will take off because it seems to be a linear step in the fiat world. I guess fiat government world, but um, obviously here we hate it. It's not good, and it, it just sucks that this type of stuff happens. But hopefully now people know a little bit more about it. I guess in the Monero quiz, like you're talking about, get people getting paid. Ooh. How much do you think people get paid for high eye scan around estimates? Right, it's a coin, so it fluctuates in price. What, what do y'all think? You mean some tuxedo? What do you think? 
Oh wow! I didn't. Yeah, I don't know anything about um, it. Go yeah, ahead. I think it was around. It was around a hundred, wasn't it? Holy shit! They're giving out a hundred bucks per scan. Oh, wait, that was, that was this a is guess. not advertising. Don't go do this. No. That was a guess. <laughs> Doug's like, I gotta go. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> We're all gonna die uh, anyway. <laughs> no, let's just... see. Oh, it was actually a, a, reportedly when I googled this, it was around sixty, but that could change, right? Because it's, it's a coin. So if you say sixty or hundred, I mean, you're not that far off, honestly. That was really right. good. It, it's I knew it was around there. Wow, that's yeah. You're kind of just giving like... away a lot of money just for like that. But I mean, yeah. it's like. How, what do you value more you know and and, and what you know that they're, they're preying on the impoverished right this yeah. is really yeah. that's that's the thing it's right it's like 60 bucks to you and i we might be like yeah there's absolutely no way i'm yeah, giving, you know, taking that risk uh but if you're making if you're living on a dollar a day and somebody comes 60. around and says all you got to do is put your head over here and scan your thing is that 60 you're, you're us but that's you're like absolutely gonna say right? yes so in like other countries, that's like a small fortune for some people. Yeah, yeah. it's just 60 USD. Yeah. So I mean, this is just it's it's very very unethical. Uh, it's kind of yeah. like buying people selling buying people's uh, body parts, right? I mean, yeah, it's, it's messed up. Not too far away from that. I mean, although we we don't, I I hate to give them some some like deference, but mm -hmm. if. If things are designed as they say, then supposedly, right? They're not really. They're not associating the person with the the scan, right? That's what they're claiming. Yeah, if, yeah. but there's just if so much works, room. Yeah. There's just so much room for error. Like we we all mm -hmm. know, right? That it's that's not about even. Obviously, the, the whole idea with crypto and decentralization is that you don't have mm -hmm. to trust anyone. And here you are. You're like you said. You're trusting this hardware. You're trusting the, the fact you can't even, get yeah. hacked. You're trusting the fact that people can't figure out ways to eventually associate your ID with mm -hmm. your um, world coin identity. It's it's just way too risky. Yeah, and terrible. I, I believe this. The code's closed source right now. I could be wrong, but I wasn't able to find any like GitHub for world coin. Right. So yeah, it's you're trusting a closed source black, or in this case, um, I guess silver or with all your it's is is really bad like you said yeah it's really messed up because all the videos and photos i found were in like developing countries where you 60 dollars would go much further than it would here i'm not doing this six dollars here but like you said if someone makes a dollar a day you know two months pay I, I don't know yeah to go wait on a line to to scan your eye yeah. yeah, well, I, I would say maybe the the silver lining is mm -hmm. that this is how people come to realize how important something like Monero is. You yes, know? yes, yes. Unfortunately, it's going to take moments like these. We've always said it, right? CBDCs mm -hmm. will wake people up. Things like WorldCoin are going to wake people up. Uh, so, <laughs> unfortunately, the, the the sheep the sheep are going to be the ones that that fall for these things. Yeah, but Monero, Monero's here. We're building it out. We're opting out. And you know we're waiting for others that wake up. Like we'll we'll be here when you're ready. When you when you realize the impl implications. It once you messed up, you're like, I need some privacy now. I they have everything about me. Like we'll be here, open arms. No, no, no. But, wild yeah. man, yeah. wild. All right. Much it. Yeah. Digun, thanks. Great as yeah. always. Uh, stick around if you can, please. Uh, yeah, I will. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get every viewers on stage up soon. I guess let's let's jump to the guest, and we'll have we'll have a quick intro, and then we'll we'll do the news with the guest up on stage, and we'll bring all the viewers up. Proceed like that. All right, let's do it. Thanks, Digun. <laughs> Thanks, Digun.